What's up action takers? Today we're going to be talking about 8 things you can do to reward yourself with little to no money. What's up action takers? Dr. Tank Farm D here, board certified practicing pharmacist and personal health coach, helping action takers like you take back control of your lives in a structured format. Although I am a practicing medicine specialist, I'm not your specialist. So if you have any questions about your condition, see your doctor. Let's get into it. Let's say 2021 has been your year. You've been crushing it this year and kicking ass. Well, you know what? You gotta reward yourself for it. And there's some problems with that though. Now, let's say you wanna reward yourself, but you've been working out pretty well and you don't wanna have that piece of cake as a reward. Don't worry, these come with little calories. Or let's say you don't want to spend money or minimal money because the future is unpredictable. Don't worry, I got gotcha. you. Today we're going to be talking about eight things you can do to reward yourself with little to no money. The first thing you can do is take a day off. Do nothing. Put nothing on your calendar. No appointments, no meetings, nothing. Just lay in your bed, do nothing. No thinking, nothing. You got it? Nothing. You're gonna get tired after doing nothing because let's face it, how many times have we taken a nap just to feel sleepy again? But hey, it's your day off. Reward yourself. Another thing you could do is you could go out and see nature. You can go for a hike. There's nothing that could connect you with nature better than to go for a hike. The sounds of the birds and the trees and the view of the city is magnificent. The second thing you could do is go for a bike ride. There's nothing better than to go for a bike ride. You can enjoy a faster pace with a further distance. In addition, if you're pretty far, you know the trip back isn't gonna be a pain in the ass. Cause let's face it, sometimes you'll hike for miles only to realize that you gotta hike back as well. Going on a bike ride allows you to stop whenever you want to, enjoy nature, and continue. In addition, you get some great exercise. Now let's say you don't want to do any exercise, you just want to chill for an entire day, but you want to go out as well. Well, you could pack up and go for a nice car ride. You could drive next to a mountain or some water. Enjoy the scenery of nature from your car at a pace that you like. And at the same time, not have to do anything because let's face it, it's your day off. The fifth thing you could do is you could learn to dance. There are still city programs that teach you dance classes in the park. But if you're not able to get out or don't want to get out, you can go on the internet and learn how to dance. Not only is dancing fun, but it's good exercise. And there are a lot of different styles you could learn on the internet. You could pick up line dancing or hip hop or tango. The sixth thing you could do to reward yourself is to refresh a skill that you used to have. Remember that high school language class that you're rusty on? Maybe it's time to brush up on that. Or, if you have a physical skill, like you used to do a handstand, maybe you could practice that again. Maybe you used to draw, but haven't had time for it. Take a day off and practice some of that to reward yourself. Brushing up on these old skills is a lot easier than picking up on new ones. And it's rewarding to know how talented you really are. The seventh thing you could do to reward yourself is to take photos. You could go around your city and find little nooks and crannies to take photos of or you can go exploring outside your city. Find sites that you've wanted to see and start taking photos of those. Or if you want, you could start practicing posing. Take photos of yourself as you pose. Photography and posing are skills that you could practice and get better at. And if you think you look silly just standing around and taking pictures, that's pretty much what models do. You could be your own personal model. The eighth thing you could do is to read for fun. Find a book you want to read for fun and not for personal development or business development. I've read a lot of science fiction books. My personal favorite writer, Brandon Sanderson. But you don't have to read science fiction if you don't want. You know how people say the book is better than the movie? Well, it is. Take some time off and enjoy a good book. So there you have it, guys. Eight things you could do to reward yourself for little to no money. If you're looking to improve your life in a structured format, click on the link below. 
Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay healthy.